everybody. So happy to be here for the first time.
Hi. <laughs> How you doing? So this is uh, our first time here, and uh, today we, um, we took a walk around the town. We went inside the cathedral and uh, lit candles for our loved ones, and uh, it's an awesome town. So we're happy to be here. And this song is dedicated to the worker, to the worker, uh, no matter whether it's a poet or a painter or a baker or a stonemason, a mother, people that do their work well and are often unappreciated. Unappreciated like some of our great artists and poets, and yet they do their work. Maintain your vision, don't give up. Do good work because your work defines you. So, um, and it's always good to gather together for a good cleanup. I don't know, I saw in the at, in front of the cathedral there's a cleanup happening. I don't know, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. yes. You don't know what I'm talking about? Yes. It's a cleanup, I'm going. Stupid cloak, 
What's going on? I'm sorry. I, I had a couple of little technical problems, but they're going to be okay. It's okay. We have really good people working on them, so that's... <laughs> but actually, what it really is, is I just wanted to see if he would have dinner later. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, this early this year, we lost a great friend a beautiful musician, a beautiful songwriter, and one of our great guitar players um, when we lost Tom Verlaine. And um, come on. Tom, Tom Verlaine, of course, is one of the founders of the great band television. And um, in 1975, uh, we were working on the album Horses, and uh, I was having, um, have you heard of it? Thank you, thank you. Um, I was working on, I wanted to write a song in memory of Jim Morrison, but I, I couldn't get the music that I wanted. And so Tom came and visited me and we sat in front of a piano and then he looked at my poem for Jim Morrison and he rearranged it a little and played some music on the piano, and we wrote this song together. So um, the song was for Jim Morrison, but tonight we'll do it for Tom Verlaine. I can hear the angel calling 
We rolled on the ground. He stretched out his wings. The boy flew away and he started to sing. He cried, Bring it up! Whoa! to me the sky was raging the boy disappeared I fell on my knees the atmosphere broke up the boy reappeared I cried take me please shining I could feel my heart it was melting I tore off my clothes danced on my shoes ripped my skin open and then I broke through I cried break it up Thank you. So I'd like you to, to introduce you to the fellas. Seb Rockford on drums. Tony Shanahan. Tony Shanahan on bass and keyboards. And my son, Jackson Smith on guitar. This is a little song that was written for Jackson's father, Fred Sonic Smith. Understand, desire is hunger, is the fire I breathe. Love is a banquet on which we feed. Come on now, try and understand the way I feel under your command. Take my hand as the sun descends. They can't hurt you now, can't hurt you now. I'm alone, love is a ring, the 
telephone. Love is an angel disguised as lust. Here in our bed until the morning comes. But come on now, try and understand the way I feel under your command. Take my hand as the sun descends. They can't hurt you now. said we could go out for dinner. <laughs> it must be some kind of way out of here the joker to the thief It's too much confusion Can't get no relief Businessmen, they take my wine I man dig my earth No one wants to cross the line Nobody's given their word. Ha! No reason to get excited. The thief he proudly spoke There's many here among us Who think that life is but a joke For well, you and I, we've been through that And this is not our fate So let us not talk falsely now The hour is getting late.
Dylan.
the toilet or the yes. library? I think the toilet. No, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Have I seen the library? I've seen the library of my mind every day. Millions of books. Books that are written and unwritten. You know, it actually, I read this little story today. So uh, I'm sure you know there's this little poem by Bertolt Breck called Om uh, uh, 1592. Do you know this poem? No. You don't know about the cleanup and you don't know about the poem. I actually think you're all from like, what, Venezuela or someplace? Where are you all from? Anyway, there's this little poem and it tells a true story about this great city. So in 1592, there was this tailor. You good? I'm good. good. Well, I'm not done yet. <laughs> yeah, you can go back and do it again. Um, anyway, there was this tailor, and he was consumed with the desire to fly. It's 1592, and he has a secret room. And in this secret room, he makes many sketches. He studies birds. He studies their wings. He studies all kinds of ways that helps, uh, um, helps the birds fly. And he makes himself, with his own hands, he stitches a beautiful set of wings. And so, and that's true. <laughs> then, there are, how many, 780, how many steps? No, the ste <laughs> no, the steps in the cathedral. It's like. How many? 760. 760. You win. You win the grand prize. Come on up and get your prize. Come on up. Come on up. Sixty steps, he has these wings, and on his way up, he sees like the preacher, and the preacher says to him, what are you doing? And he says, I am going to fly. And he says, no, man was not made to fly. You can't fly. And he said, but I am going to fly. So he goes up 760 steps to the top of your great cathedral with his wings, and in 1592, with the, with the same ambition as Leonardo da Vinci, he spreads his wings and takes off. Now, he only flies for maybe several seconds. And then he, of course, uh, crashes to earth. But everyone thought he was a fool and everything, one thought he was stupid, and everyone thought he didn't accomplish his mission. But yes, he did. He had a dream, he had a fucking dream, he had a vision, and he attempted it, and for a few precious seconds, he was a fucking bird. And so, let no man say that the tailor from Ulm was a fool. To me, he was a visionary. He's my new boyfriend. <laughs> So let's let's sing a little song 
let's have a little excursion together, um, musical and verbally, in honor of the tailor of Ulm.
So, um, yeah, this is a nice little song. Um, I used to listen to this song on my record player when I was 16 years old. And um, it's amazing, all these years later, decades, over half a century, to be here under these skies singing it today. <laughs> Down the streets the dogs are barking and the days are getting dark As night starts a falling the dogs lose their bark And the silent night is shattered by the sounds in my mind. Just one too many miles and a thousand miles behind. From the crossroads of my doorstep, my eyes start to fade. And I turn my head to the room where my love and I had laid. And I gaze at the street, sidewalks, and the signs. Just one too many miles and a thousand miles behind. It's a reckless, hungry feeling Don't do anyone no good And anything I be saying You be saying just as good You're right from your side I'm right from mine Just one too many miles and a thousand miles behind. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. a captain and uh, this captain was some kind of miracle because no one really knew what century he came from yet he was clearly here among us and all the birds of the air loved him the ravens and the doves and the eagles and especially the sparrows they would come by the thousands when he would set sail. And he would set sail, but not upon the waters, but upon the billowing clouds. His golden ship would ascend and the birds would fly with him. And they would look upon the sails of his ship and his flag tattooed with his symbols the skull and the crossbones 
and the beautiful face of his mother.
nine blue-eyed sailors tip their hats to him as he waltzes through them more vagabond than king with diamonds on his sleeve like a harlequin Thank you. 
Everybody, sorry, but up front, I'm happy to see you, but it's equipment, they're not tables. So <laughs> you're not in a bar, you don't put your drinks on them. <laughs> they're equipment, and we have to respect the equipment. So thank you. <laughs> but I'm really happy to see you. <laughs> well, we're all happy. We're all fucking happy. <laughs> So I'd like to dedicate this song to the memory of the great Tina Turner. <laughs> Pissing in a river, watching it rise. Tattoo fingers shy away from me. Voices, voices mesmerize. Voices, voices beckon and see. Come.
Thank you. Somebody's sins, but not mine. Men in a pot of thieves, wild card of my sleeve, thick, hot stone. My sins, my own, they belong to me. Here she 
than art, than music, than just, just, uh-oh, I think I'm falling asleep. Somebody better wake me up. I misspelled it. G L O R I A. Thank you, everyone. 
Thank you, everybody. Well, I don't know. Backstage, I decided I'm going to do this again only because I want to hear you singing. You, you guys are awesome. So this, this is just just because I want to hear you fucking sing. That's all. <laughs>
you everybody. I had a great time. Toshi, thank you for the roses. Come and say hello. Good night everybody. Thank you Bertal. Thank you everybody.